Welcome to Let's Play Battlefield 1942. On today's episode, Battle of Britain. This is one of only two levels in this game where you don't capture any of the flags. The um, objective of this map is to destroy all of the British radar towers and the British factory. If you're on the British side, your objective is to stop the Germans from being able to destroy those objectives and let their tickets bleed out. I would say that a competent German team should almost always be able to win this map. The strategy that you should take here is to go on the far western side, flying low enough to avoid anti-aircraft fire from the radar towers, and there you can see a radar tower, empty radar tower icon. Fly around back and have all of the German planes attack the British factory at once at the very beginning of the map. The reason for this is that the British factory has a lot of hit points and if you destroy the radar towers first, all the British people will spawn there and they'll be able to continually repair the, ra the British base. The radar towers don't have as many hit points so they can't all concentrate their repairing ability on one tower and keep it uh, from being destroyed. The other thing is that often at the very beginning of the round all the British will be manning the radar towers and they won't be manning the anti-aircraft guns in the British factory. I don't see too much anti-aircraft fire just yet. I remember uh, one time soon after this map came out I was playing on a server that just did this map 10 rounds in a row and then just recycled the map. Uh, using the basic strategy of having everyone attack the factory first and having maybe one sniper at the British factory to snipe all the people who tried to man the anti-aircraft guns there. The German side was able to win all 10 rounds in a row very easily. Now I could show just bombing the objectives over and over again, but that would be pretty boring. So I think what I'll focus on here is disrupting the British movements. The British can only spawn at the radar towers and at the factory. They can't spawn over at the British hangars, so they can't spawn right next to their planes. So if you concentrate on destroying the British jeeps or the British infantry as they move over to the hangars and uh, also concentrate on their anti-aircraft guns, then you can wreak a lot of havoc heavy German bombers do a good job of dropping all the bomb loads on the uh, targets. Generally speaking, you want to avoid the coast. The southern coast is the part of the map that's guarded by the British radar towers. And each British radar tower has an anti-aircraft gun built into it. Once again, you continually see these jeeps crossing over the bridge area there because they're spawning at the British factory and then taking the jeeps over to the British hangar. It's the quickest way to get an airplane on this map if you're on the British side. It is extremely frustrating if you're on the British side and uh, people on the German side are just destroying your jeeps as you try to get over there. It can become very frustrating. And since all of the anti-aircraft batteries are in the same place, they can't be moved on uh, this game. There are no mobile anti-aircraft uh, guns. You memorize their location on the German side and just continually bomb them or shoot them with machine guns. that there aren't that many uh, British airplanes in the air and there I just got a good hit on an infantry unfortunately it was one of our own you always have to watch your radar when you're playing this map to make sure you're not shooting at your own guys and that goes double if you're on the German side because often German pilots who bail out will steal a British airplane and so if you see a Spitfire in the air uh, 
uh, it may actually be friendly, so you gotta check your radar. The people manning the anti-aircraft flat guns very often will just shoot at everything they, they, they see, and they have a lot of trouble distinguishing between friendly and enemy aircraft. finally decided I have to bail out of my plane. The British just didn't have that much of a force in the air. I believe with this flat gun right here, you just barely can't really get a good shot on the British plane that takes off there because of the sandbags, but I think you can get just a couple of seconds, which is, yeah, that's enough to destroy the plane as it's trying to take off. If you play as an engineer, one neat trick is to leave a landmine on the tail fin of the British Spitfire that's sitting in the hangar, and that'll detonate the plane immediately when it starts to try to take off and get you an easy kill. The area right in front of the tower is where the British spawn at this spawn point. In fact, if you are an engineer, you can get one or two explosive packs and just detonate that entire area as people spawn in. I was playing one round on this uh, a while ago, and I just continually detonated this uh, area right in front of the radar tower which at the time was their only remaining spawn point, so their entire team was detonated by one dynamite pack. Our planes are just pretty much going everywhere. I'm not sure if we've taken out the factory just yet. As I said earlier, a, an organized or even slightly organized German team can take down this map pretty quickly, but there's really no organization here in the round that I'm playing. Just as long as people agree to all attack the factory first, it's pretty much impossible for the British to survive. Unfortunately, that guy was out of dynamite for some reason, so I didn't get to do the spawn killing trick. Unfortunately, I was just too close to that dynamite pack when I detonated it. Different servers have different uh, rules on friendly fire for some of those explosive weapons. Often they'll have it reduced to half and you can get away with a little bit more, but if the friendly fire is on high enough, then you really do have to get a quite a bit of distance between you and your own dynamite pack when you detonate it. Right now I'm flying the German heavy bomber. The only rule with this plane is to start dropping the bombs way in advance of your target. There's a lot of inertia with the bombs as they fall, and also each of the six bombs in the bomb load has to be dropped individually, so you just constantly hit the bomb dropping uh, key over and over again really fast. And the bombs reload pretty quickly, and this is a good example of how on this game versus Battlefield 2, where you have to keep reloading at the airstrip, they give you tons and tons of bombs in this game. All 
right the British tickets are now going down really quickly that means all the objectives have been destroyed and that'll do it for this episode of Let's Play Battlefield 1942.